Oh, hey. You know what happens after this set, right? Five Minute Friday. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Five Minute Friday where we put five minutes on the clock to try and give you one awesome tip to make your time in the gym a little bit more amazing. And today I've got a good one. So let's get five minutes on the clock and get to it. I am pumped to share today's tip with you. It's something simple, it's something cheap, it's possibly even free because a lot of you already have it laying around the house, you're just not using it in your gym. And today's tip is this stuff right here. This is rubber drawer liner. And believe it or not, there's two things you can use this for when you're working out that will make your training more enjoyable, more effective, and this can actually help you lift more weight. Let me show you how. Today we're going to start with the bench press. A lift that's a key component in most people's programming. A lift that a lot of people do at least one, if not seven times a week. And it's a lift that's an interesting combination of strength and technique. A lot of people don't realize that technique goes a long way into how much you can bench. It goes a long way into safety. It goes a long way into keeping your shoulders healthy. Technique is a big part of a good bench press. And a big part of that technique is shoulder drive. In other words, what you want to do when you bench is you want to get your shoulders dug into the bench and drive with your feet and really push your back into the bench. And to that end, the fitness industry has come out with a number of different expensive accessories that you can buy. You can buy upgraded back pads to your bench that are more grippy. You can buy bench wraps, which wrap around your bench, which make it more grippy. You can buy $35 shirts that have grippy stuff on the back so that it's more grippy. Or you can go into your kitchen drawer, take this out of the bottom, lay this down between you and the bench, and this is more grippy than any of those others, it's probably all three of them combined. I've tried all three of those. None of them gives you the grip that this stuff does. Let me show you how it works. So here we have the Rep Fitness AB5200. One of its features, as I mentioned in the review that I did, is that it has a grippier back pad. And it is, it's grippier than some. But as you can see by my hand, it's not, and I'm, I'm pushing, right? It's not as grippy as maybe it should be or could be. When you set up for your bench, I can still slide on this. So let's take a look at what happens when we put the drawer liner down. It's literally not going to let anything move. And my hand isn't moving. And my back sure as heck isn't going anywhere. So as you can see, if you want a little bit of extra grip in your bench, you don't need $35 shirts. You don't need upgraded back pads. Buy your better bench for other reasons than its grip. Just get yourself some drawer liner and I'll put a link down below uh, to some that you can find on Amazon. It's real cheap and it will immediately improve the way that you bench. And if your technique's good, it'll immediately improve how much you can bench. And that's the first way that I use a drawer liner. Let me show you another way that's been almost equally as helpful. Landmine is one of the most versatile pieces of gear that you can add to your gym. It's inexpensive and its uses are almost limitless. With a simple little piece just like this, you can set it up anywhere in your gym and you can do a variety of movements with it. You can press with it. You can squat with it. You can do dynamic movements with it. And you can do my favorite movement, the Landmine RDL. The Landmine RDL has a ton of different benefits. When you're practicing the hinging pattern, this forces you to hinge correctly. It forces you to have good form. The problem with the Landmine RDL is when the bar is unloaded like this, it's no problem. It's one end of a 45 pound bar. However, when you've got these loaded with a decent amount of weight, all of a sudden your limiting factor in the lift becomes your grip. Holding on to the end of this barbell with weight attached over the course of heavy reps becomes challenging at best. This is where the drawer liner comes in. 
take the same piece of drawer liner you use for your bench, fold it up a couple of times, put it under the end of the barbell, interlock your fingers, and you've got a great grip on the end. And you can do as heavy as you want and you won't lose your grip. Awesome. And there you go. Drawer liner, who knew, right? I love it when I find cheap, inexpensive ways to make my workouts better. And I can't overemphasize how much of a difference this stuff makes. Really, seriously, try it yourself. If it doesn't make a difference, I'd be shocked. So get yourself some drawer liner. And that's today's Five Minute Friday. Hopefully you liked this tip. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have tips you'd like me to do in the future for future videos, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to make a video for it if I think it helps people. And other than that, go enjoy your Friday. I'm Tim with Jim Crafter.